Green here for a while. I'm Darren, and this is Three Things for Wednesday, August the 7th. The judge over the U.S. government versus Google antitrust lawsuit has ruled that, in fact, Google has taken actions to be monopolistic in its search. Google will be appealing the decision. This could set a precedent for Apple, Amazon, and Live Nation cases that are also on antitrust issues. After the assassination of Hamas's political leader, Iran has vowed a severe retaliation despite Israel not claiming responsibility. The U.S. had already been planning a response to attacks on U.S. personnel that were injured at a base in Iraq. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York released its latest report on household debt. Keep in mind, this is a survey and it is in the best interest of the banks to reflect that everything is okay. Overall debt levels rose 0.6% and overall borrowing levels are at $3.7 trillion above where they were at the end of 2019. The word resilient is being used again. Trade while you sleep across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Essential school supplies for third to fifth graders. Melina writes, If you haven't completed your school list, consider the following. Ensuring that kids in grades three through five are well prepared with the right supplies is essential. One of the top must-haves is a sturdy and comfortable backpack. Given that children in this age group are often required to carry various books, notebooks, and personal items, a backpack with multiple compartments and ergonomic design can help distribute the weight evenly and reduce strain on young backs. Look for the backpacks with padded straps and water-resistant materials to protect contents from unexpected spills or rainy days. In today's tech-driven world, even younger students benefit from having their own set of tech tools. A durable tablet or a kid-friendly laptop is becoming increasingly essential as schools integrate more digital learning platforms. These devices can help with research, educational games, and assessing online resources. Additionally, equipping these devices with sturdy, shockproof cases and protective screen covers ensures they withstand the rigors of daily use by energetic children. Also consider noise-canceling headphones for focused study sessions and online classes, especially in busy or noisy environments. Encouraging creativity is crucial for cognitive development, making art supplies a must-have for students in grades 3 through 5. A well-stocked art kit with colored pencils, markers, crayons, watercolor paints, and sketchbooks can inspire young minds to explore their artistic talents. Having a variety of crafting materials such as glue sticks, safety scissors, and construction paper also allows children to complete school projects and personal crafts. These supplies not only support art class requirements, but also provide a productive way for kids to express themselves and unwind after a day of structured learning. Teaching kids organizational skills early on can significantly impact their academic success. Planners or assignment notebooks designed for younger students help them keep track of homework, projects, and important dates. Fun, colorful binders and folders can make organizing subjects more enjoyable, encouraging kids to maintain neat and orderly notes. Labels and sticky notes are also useful for marking important pages and reminders. Introducing these organizational tools fosters good habits that will benefit students throughout their educational journey. Stop watching Start Living Using Pips, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. I had a pretty normal mom life. Everything was pretty good. And we just had a new baby. And then all of a sudden she's on life support and fighting for her life. They told me my only chance was a heart transplant. And the American Heart Association helped make that possible. Their research helped save me. To learn more about how the American Heart Association is saving lives, go to helpheart.org. Pips pick of the day. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible uptrend for Live Person Inc. That's LPSN. They are headquartered in New York. And they provide mobile and online messaging solutions through conversational artificial intelligence. Careful with this penny stock as they can be highly volatile. Two green arrow up indicators have appeared in the last two days, as well as a positive green X indicating that the price can go up. The compass line crossed the momentum line as well, and both are above the mean line. If it can break through the primary line instead of bouncing off of it, we may see a nice upside. Set limits and stop losses, especially if you can't watch. Current price is at $1.23, 52-week high of $5.98, 52-week low of $0.45. We're not financial advisors. We provide an algorithmic AI bot service called PIPS. Please do your own research. 
Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.